This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. That's okay. Things are gonna be okay. The LEM update has dropped, and while I am very, very interested in bringing you a great meta build on clone armies and showing off what we can do with that fantastic origin, I'd like to show off a, a Civic that has been brought in with a new LEM patch, which is, I would say, a little bit more broken. Now, there are some, uh, some instances where it is not broken, absolutely, but the way that you can use it is such that you are basically able to print money in Stellaris. There, there's nothing, uh, no fancy trickery here. We're simply going to ask the, uh, the the universe to produce alloys, and the universe will grant alloys at no penalty to us. That is what we're going to be achieving. Let's dive in and find out what on earth is going on. And if you enjoy this video, please smash that like button. Here is the species we're going to be playing with. So we're going to play with a machine intelligence. In terms of our traits, nothing too fancy here. We're just going to go with logic engines, superconductive, mass produced, and then high bandwidth luxurious. This is pretty standard. I guess you could swap out uh, one of these to have the emotion emulators you wanted. Not really what we're here to discuss today though. Prosperous unification. We have to go with this one rather than the machine world start because what we want to be taking is catalytic processing. Now, what does this do? It takes our fabricator jobs and it replaces them with catalytic drones. Now, catalytic drones turn food into alloys. That sounds fantastic. Otherwise, we're going to be going with Constructo bots just for the extra building slots. Let's jump into a quick game and see what's going on. So here we are, here's our start. We've got some planets nearby us, that's very nice. And we have our home world. Uh, we've got some things. What have we got here? So we have some agricultural drones producing food. Well, they must be doing that because we have, yes, here we are, catalytic drones converting 12 food into five alloys. Brilliant. So step one of the plan will be to demolish these agriculture districts because we don't need them. And we should probably sell that 100 food because we don't need it either. Now we'll just queue up some research. That'll be nice. I'd like to have some research going. And we'll send off our science ship to survey that system. Do the normal things at the start of a game. And then we're going to buy some minerals as well. And we're going to uh, buy, I suppose we'll buy some uh, more minerals because we're buying them per month. And the first thing we will be producing is an alloy foundry. Yeah, that'll be the first thing we're doing, I think, today, just to really demonstrate the point. Oh no, we've got to the end of the month and we've spent our 24 food, but we're running a deficit, so we've got a red pop-up. Let's have a look what that's going to do. Well, shortage of food, biological pop happiness. Well, we don't have any biological pops. Biological pop growth. Well, we don't have any biological pops. Pop organic assembly speed reduction. Well, we don't have any pop organic assembly speed reduction. If we go to our, our home world where we have our lovely machines, they include some biological production. Well, that's unaffected. We don't have happiness, so that's unaffected. Which means that we are basically able to print alloys. The, the food cost to us is completely irrelevant. We hit zero and then we run a negative economy strategy where we don't care we're negative, we're gonna take that negative penalty. In fact, I don't care so much, I'm gonna get rid of it. And we are going to sail away into the rest of the game. We're going to use this, uh, these, in essence, free alloys. The only thing they cost us is a pop. Uh, each of our pops working those jobs won't be able to work a different job, uh, but that's not to worry. We'll be okay. We'll get more alloys. And I guess what we could also do is, uh, I think I should probably sell some of these alloys. Yes, I'll, I'll sell 10 per month. So I'm selling them a cost of 2.8 energy, which means that uh, each, each one of these drones produces five alloys and they sell them at 2.8, meaning that's about 13 energy, which at the start of the game is more energy than our tech drones will produce. So we're printing money at the moment that's a little bit unbalanced, even if I do say so myself. 
And of course, we're quickly going to get enough alloys up to be able to build colony ships. I'm going to get lots and lots of fast colony ships out. I'm also going to be able to spend all of that excess energy on research labs. I'm going to queue up some more research labs as well. And generally speaking, we are going to have a very, very easy game. 2,000 years later. Here we are. I've jumped 20 years into the future. We're currently uh, burning through 360 alloys. Uh, and we are... We're saving... We're making 160 energy credits. We are... We should probably stop selling all those alloys. We're making 130 alloys per month. Uh, I dropped down my science a little bit uh, just so that I could increase my alloy production, but I could push that back up if I wanted to. Now, this is going to keep going up. The more pops we have, we can just continue building industrial districts wherever we want them. Uh, so that's this planet here. We've got 10 industrial drones. This planet here, 16 industrial drones. And we're just printing free alloys. Um, there is no limit to the growth that we have here. The only limit is our own population. And we are going to keep colonizing planets using the alloys to build colony ships. And we're going to basically do whatever we want. Uh, catalytic processing for machine empires is sandbox mode Stellaris. <laughs>